All right, hey YouTube. Uh, this is my first video. Um, I just uh, am trying to get over the uh, fear of spiders that I have. I've got bad arachnophobia, or did have bad arachnophobia. Um, I've uh, been trying over the years. I've I've been absolutely terrified of spiders for the longest time, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to start collecting some spiders and see how it goes and see if I can get over this ridiculous fear I have because it really traumatizes people who have arachnophobia know what I'm talking about. Um, I work in a pet store and have gotten used to knowing they're in the pet store where I'm working but they're caged up and I don't feed them, I don't spray them down, I don't do anything, the other guys take care of that. And anyway, uh, long story short, I started collecting some and started finding them to be absolutely fascinating creatures that they are uh, instead of being so scared of them. I can even pick up some now. Um, when they move fast on my hand, it, it the hairs on the back of my head stand up and I, it, oh, I just want to flick my hand and get it off my hand, but I fight that urge and, and um, try to look at them more like little robots and that has helped me get over my fear. So. If anyone's looking to get over their fear of spiders, um, you know, um, I'm not saying that my way is the best way, but get spiders, have one, I have them in my kitchen, and I look at them every day when I'm cooking, and I just find it amazing watching them eat, watching them hunt, um, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, I've got uh, about uh, 10 spiders now, which isn't a lot, uh, to some guys out there, they've got so many, holy cow, but um, I just got, uh, I, I have about five that I have off of uh, um, Tarantulas Canada off of Amanda, so I can't thank her enough. Uh, I just got a shipment today uh, that I opened up actually at work. I wanted to do an unboxing, but I got them in their little containers. Uh, she sent a freebie for me, so that was cool. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to pronounce this name. This is, there's no videos of this spider on YouTube that I can find yet and there's very little information in the wild or out on the web um, because it's a brand new found species I don't know exactly even when they found it but it was 2014 it's a new species it's uh, Sahydro Arrhenius Raja and I'll show you the there's the spelling there Raja and it's just a quarter inch sling I got off her for 60 bucks I happened to call and uh, I had actually a customer come in uh, and she said oh she showed me this picture of this awesome spider that they just found and it's beautiful dark it's black with blue and it's really cool looking and I fell in love with it it's a dwarf uh, tarantula but a high humidity dwarf tarantula and definitely not a hands-on one and I thought Oh, I'll give uh, Tarantulas Canada a call and see see what they're all about. So I called and they only had one left. And I couldn't believe my luck. It was one left. And I was calling on the last day that they do shipments out because of the winter. Um, and I thought, oh, this is too much. It's kind of meant to be type of thing. So anyway, I, uh, I got one and it just came today. And I'm just going to show you it here. And I'll zoom in, just put a cricket leg in there for her to eat later. Come on camera, focus in. Sorry guys. Oh, it's climbing up the side. So that is the latest and greatest new spider from India, uh, from the West Ghats. Um, I'm trying, been trying to do information searches on it, and it's really tough to find anything. Um, just a little tiny thing right now, quarter of an inch. But um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the first video of this. Uh, I don't know how I, di I didn't even ask Amanda how many she bought, but uh, really cool spider came healthy, alive. That's all I could ask for. Uh, the temperature was pretty cool. It's like minus 14, so I was a little worried, but. Um, yeah, this one came, and I got another one. 
that I don't even know what it is yet. I have to go online and look. But this one's coming a little too high up, so I'm going to put the lid on. All right, so I'm going to focus this here, get off my ugly mug. Um, I'm going to do updates every month, um, put YouTube updates up, and do a, a documentary of uh, how I'm keeping this species. Uh, they are a very humid species, 80 to 100% humidity, which is really high. Everything else I have, I've got brachypelmas, I've got uh, gramostolas, and uh, you know they're they're fairly uh, dry. But um, I'm uh, going to do my best with this one, and uh, hopefully down the road, if I can find out if it's a male or female, I think it would be really cool to uh, try breeding this. So if uh, someone out there has the opposite opposite sex of mine and we could try breeding these that would be great but uh, it's supposed to be a heavy Weber um, and it's definitely a burrower so hopefully it's not going to hide all the time but I'll do my best to get uh, some shots even if uh, you know I wake up in the middle of the night and it's out then I'll uh, make a video so if anyone has any questions or comments please uh, uh, again this is my first YouTube video so um, you know, uh, click on like and, and do, do what you do uh, with that regard. And uh, I'll, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. If you know anything about this species uh, and the, uh, you know, more about the location where it comes from and um, just any information on this species, uh, I think uh, we deserve to. Uh, get that information out there for everybody because it is a new species and I'm excited about it so hope you are too and I will talk to you later ciao